So in this study, in the Bias to Our Business study, we collected a large number of federal government regulations. So over 30 federal government regulations across four different agencies um, in the federal context, covering both transportation um, agencies as well as agencies within the Department of Labor, including OSHA, the Occupational Safety and Health Administration, which is a very controversial agency. So we collected the sample of rules, um, collected the text of both the draft rule and the final rule, and then collected all the public comments to those rules. So it's over around 1,700 public comments. And those public comments, you know, they can be half a page long or they can be 20 pages long. We read, myself and several graduate student coders, read all of these public comments and categorized them in several different ways. For instance, we read the public comments and and analyze you know, what are the main issues that are being brought up across the set of public comments to this rule. And we listed them. You know, what are the five main issues? We identified them. And then we looked at the final rule and said, are, is there any change that's taking place between the draft rule and the final rule on these top commenter issues? And when you can identify that the commenters are all bringing up the same issue, and there's actually a change that's been made in the final rule on this issue you have then verified that this public commenting process is valid. It is actually being used by, in the way that we want it to be used. It's being used to inform our regulatory policymaking decisions. Part of what we were looking for is just who these commenters are. So um, what, do they, what kind of affiliation do they put on the letterhead when they're writing in? You know, so they're, so are they the president of, a, of IBM, a major corporation, or are they the president of a local Teamster union um, in Missouri. You know, we want to know who they are, where they're coming from, so not just their organization, but also from distributed across the country, where are they coming from. And one of the interesting things we found in this study is we had hypothesized that a lot of these commenters would be coming from the D.C. area. Right? These are federal regulations, sort of inside baseball, if you will. But, you know, while there were a fair number of D.C. commenters in our study, these, there were also a fair number of commenters across the nation, commenters from Iowa and California, commenters from Utah and Nebraska.